Hello everyone, this is Utherus and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Um, before I get bombarded with questions about, hey, it's been a while since I've uploaded this, and also, did they fix my concerns? No, they haven't fixed my concerns, and yes, it's been a little while since I've uploaded Medieval Engineers, mainly because of the concerns raised in the last video. But that doesn't mean um, I'm incapable of building anything. And because Bridgehaven became so large, it became pretty much impossible to build on it at the moment. And so what I want to do is work on something for Bridgehaven, out of Bridgehaven. And that is, hopefully, a design for an airship. And wow, that's that flattened terrain tool. It's not as fast as I remember it. Boy, is it laggy. I mean, that, like, dropping frames just takes a while for it to actually show up. I need a flat spot here to do what I'm doing here. Alright. So, I believe last time, if we go in here, I, mean, there might, I might have it saved somewhere. Mm, I guess I don't. I could have sworn I saved one. Oh well. So, since Bridgehaven is an airship, kind of, uh, you know, island thing, it is, um, oh, huh, well, Florida. It, it, it needs some airships actually built into it, and so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And to do that, we just need a whole bunch of these wooden blocks. Windmill blades, you know, all the fun stuff. And I will be making, hopefully, I'm gonna actually take this up in the sky so it's actually seeable and workable. An airship. So I wanna try, make a decent sized one maybe. Let's just go nine, nine in that direction. So that's, that's the bottom of the spine of the ship. And then, if I just, I guess, half step it up three times. One, two, three. It gives me the nice kind of beginning slopes of things. Now, the back ends of ships usually kind of go up a lot quicker. So, we're going to do three twos, three ones, then that. So, that is kind of the base of the spine. The rudder would attach to that planking. Um, and things of that nature would attach as well, like, um, not like the core of the ship, so like, this might be the base of the rudder, and the back of the ship actually starts here, it goes up a full block or something, and I could technically hang a rudder here. Yeah, it's gonna, it, it might be a multi-part episode. Just so you guys know, as these things are a little bit harder to do, for sure. Alright, I think I'm going to increase this slope at this point, and this will never become the one. It'll, it'll just day at that. So you can see kind of just the spine of the ship itself. And I'll actually give it a deeper spine here. And I really, really don't want this to uh, fall at any point and just shatter to the ground, because that would be depressing. All right, so we have the length of the ship. 
in the base silhouette that direction. Now we need to figure out the width. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go basically a plank and a half at roughly the center point. And it'll go for, I think, three total planks. So another plank and a half. So that's going to be the widest point of the ship, though it's going to be mainly the widest higher up. And this will be like the width of the deck level, which will be too tall, I believe, is what I want. As you can see too, this is, this is going to be a large vessel for sure. And now it should line up nice and even hmm let's see 10 9 back to 10 and then this should be five well I think it's off by one all right on that So, just measure out this way real quick, just to confirm. So that's straight. How about this side? Is it symmetrical? It is. That's good. You can fit a 10. Can you fit a 5? Yeah. So obviously, it's not quite. Oh, no. Oh, that could have gone bad. It's not quite what we want. We need 10 up. Ah, that's that's because it actually connects on the side of the planks rather than the top. Okay, that makes sense. So that's kind of the rough shape of the main part of the hall. And this is going to be kind of an in-depth tutorial build process. Um, as we kind of fumble our way through this. So let's go two forward and ten. And now I'm, I'm building this rather square, just just so I can see volume. Volume is very important with ships. Let's do 10 and 2 at this point. And then I'm thinking 8 here. Alright, and then I'll taper down to four, I think at the very tip. I'm going to actually connect that kind of back a little ways, so we can maybe have a figurehead or something decorative in the front. The deck can actually stop earlier. Let's go ahead and run a straight kind of upper line as well so we know how tall these need to be I couldn't even fathom building this in creative mode or survival mode <laughs> I am building it in creative mode I can fathom that all right wow that's that's pretty big and we'll get some ribbing and everything done. And, but I definitely want to try and get, just get the volume right. So that's 10 and five. So this, this will be just 10 and two again. And then it'll just probably stop at 10. Because the front end needs to be able to slice through the wind and the air. Um, or if it was a boat, it would be slicing through water. And the back end, not so much. The back end can be fairly wide to accommodate. 
kind of knife shape that you'll find in these things. Now, I'll have to be very careful when building this and like working on details as uh, hold on, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm fixing something. But yeah, I'll have to be careful about how I delete items and move things around as this thing, you know, it, if I delete it wrong, it's just going to fall. Even with structural integrity turned off, it'll, it'll really fall. So one and two. One and let's see. Two. And this is also... Um, if you guys watched my Timber and Stone last season, this is kind of how I envision building ships in there as well. And so I'm hoping it translates into this game, as really, I'm not very good at building ships. Or at least, uh, ships that look like they would belong in the sea. I'm okay at sci-fi, but even that's not really my strong suit by any mean. There are just so many people better than me. Okay. So yeah, that's that's the spine of just deck one. There might be a back upper deck just so we can have maybe a captain's quarter as well. And of course, it's going to be curved. So to do my curve, or to establish it, I am going to, number one, raise up the spine of the ship by one block, because this is the true bottom. Okay. And at this point, I kind of want, I'm just gonna do another Kind of line here. Um, let's, let's let's try doing it like this. So I can kind of see the progression, and that's too steep. Let's give it a more flat bottom here. Oop. Don't want that to happen. It's okay. And the reasoning for that is I will expand this. As you are about to see. Into the actual floor here. Alright. That ain't too bad. I'm gonna actually shorten this just a little bit. So it's a little bit more sculptural. All right. You see, now that's too shallow of a slope. So we're we're gonna have to up this up a little bit. Fine with that. So let's go with a two. A two, a one, a one. You know, I could actually get two there, then two there. That might be okay. Boy, is this music intense for what we're doing. Try and measure this correctly. 
my car out. Where does that go? That's a four piece. So it just needs to match, like so. And then get out two. Two. One. One. Right? Right? Now we go up two. And then up two again. Something like that. That looks right. Yeah, that looks right. Alright. Now I... It's already been about 15 minutes. I'm going to do some of the... Rib, more of the ribbing. So you guys can see what it... Kind of finish rib ship will look like and then uh, i think we'll call the episode there again it's going to be a multi-part series just because um it's, it's a big project and you know i feel like there's going to be a decent amount of detail going into this thing okay so this is kind of what the ribbing of the ship will start to look like after a little while so i copied over the design of the base shape and made six ribs in all um, which is kind of a large gap in between just because there's really no structural integrity here so it doesn't have to look perfect or be functional in any way and i am lining the outside of the hall in the timber rounds and you might be wondering well it's awful leaky looking it, yes it is but what you do at least this is how i do kind of rounder shapes is then once you have the out you know the exterior done with the rounds you can do a layer kind of inside those areas where there are gaps and fill it in with a square and on the outside it will actually seal up rather nicely you can see uh, down here is just a bunch of broken ribs by the way, this, this is what happens when you are experimenting after a while. You just cut pieces off and it just falls to the ground. Uh, if this was survival, of course, it would be recycled into the wonderful scraps that they are to allow us to continue to build. Uh, now this floor is actually going to be flat. See? So it actually makes a deck. A person can walk on this thing which is you know what we wanted completely this is the, the kind of the storage area of the ship you know maybe uh, this is this is just a trading vessel or something but you can see how it gets thinner so we keep going up the length of the vessel as well uh, we need to add more ribbing. I need to add all of these little blocks in here just to make sure it's airtight, watertight. Um, because airships, in my opinion, should look like it belongs in the water. It just happens to be in the air. At least uh, that's why I like to see there are, of course, variants that aren't like that. Uh, such as, say, the high wind from Final Fantasy, you know, that's that's definitely a, a pretty standard airship. It looks a little bit more like a blimp in areas, and it has a whole bunch of propellers on it to keep it afloat. But it, it, it's metal, and and that really wooden ship material uh, that we have here. So plopping these down this is going to be a time consuming build for sure but it looks rather nice once you're on the inside i'm actually pretty excited for this one i have a, i've been craving medieval engineers since i've been playing temple timber and stone again you know because they're both medieval which is my favorite thing and then i'm doing something fantasy which is my favorite genre Anyways, so it, it just feels right at home to do something, even though the normal building mechanics are just broken. So broken. 
<laughs> the shadows don't don't really make sense when you get away from it, but that's okay. That is okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to end the episode here. And I might do some stuff off camera, or this might just be a mostly on camera build for you guys. Just so you can see all the problem solving that we do. And I need to clean that up. And, you know, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Go ahead and check my other builds and my other creative things. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Leave a like. You guys know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next episode.